Hello and welcome to my video about making helicopters in Unreal Engine 5. And this video will make the helicopter based on the vehicle component in Unreal Engine 5. This video only applies to Unreal Engine 5. You cannot use it in Unreal Engine 4 because the vehicle component in Unreal Engine 5 is different than the Unreal Engine 4. They added new functionalities we can use in the helicopters. Now let me just change this make it bigger for our helicopter and delete this first of all we need to activate the chaos vehicle plugin vehicle plugin when we activate it they will, it will ask for a restart also we need some assets from the unreal store we need the free assets from the vigilante content i will use the apache one and add it to my project now let's close this and make a new folder for our helicopter helicopter now let's add the vehicle blueprint Apache now first of all let's uh, go to the vigilante content and delete some things we do not need these Delete the levels and the blueprints. We do not need them. Now let's change. Add some changes in the physics asset. Delete these bodies. Now let's go to the cog bone and add a new body. Multi convex. Then let's find the wheels. No, left wheel, rear wheel, and right wheel. Make them sphere. No. No. Make sure to leave uh, the phys physics asset on default or make it simulated. Do not use kinematic. I will use simulated now here. Now, let's add the mesh, skeletal mesh, and the animation blueprint. Hmm. Let's make animation blueprint. Make animation blueprint because we need them for the animations for the rotors and the wheels later on. Now, just first change it to vehicle anim instance. Don't forget this. This made me a lot of problems before. Mesh rough pose and wheel controller. No, for now we do not need anything from the vehicle blueprint. From I mean the animation blueprint. We do not need it now. Now let's add spring on. And camera. Camera. Now, spring on, make it 150 on the Z and 2000 on the arm lens and some rotation we need. Like this. Now, let's add the camera controls first. Look up and turn. Add control rotation well, up and down. We need the pitch, and for the left and right, we need the yo. 
Let's control rotation. No rotation, yo. No. The spring arm, we check the box of use pawn control rotation. Now we need to add the wheels. Three wheels. Need their names exactly. So uh, the best is copy them. Now left wheel. Other one, rear wheel. And the right wheel. Now, we need to add controls for, uh, sorry, controls for go, mm, sorry, going up and down. We need to add some axis mapping. Move up, slash down. For going up, I'll use left shift. And for going down, left control. Minus one. For going down, minus one. Now let's move up. Now. The new thing in the vehicle component in Unreal Engine 5 is the thrust control here under now thrust control thrust setup we'll leave it fixed use the bone name of the root or the body of the vehicle now and the thrust axis change from X to Z and change the thrust force to 25,000. This thrust, the thrust force uh, depends on the weight of the vehicle. If it's heavy, you want to increase it more. Now I left the weight of the vehicle as 1500, so I think 25,000 is enough. Now we also need to. Uh, Enable the torque control. Your torque scaling, make it one. And the pitch also one. Roll also one. Maybe we need to change some other control, but now let's just and also yes we need to check this box for the stabilized control. And other controls will change them later now uh, set the throttle the throttle now it will control the uh, thrust of the vehicle move forward forward now this for the pitch we'll use it Pitch control, set pitch input, now, mm, now to roll, for um, going, moving right, move right, we will use the roll. Roll and put. Now let's test it. Now we will face a problem that the helicopter do not keep. Sorry. Sorry, let's change it. Where is our. The helicopter will not keep its. Uh, 
elevation when you release the left shift let me show you here now let's test it now is the camera working now let's go up and forward and when you release the left shift now it's go down and you can't control it very easily now let's add some things to control the elevation let me look into my notes now We're going up and down. We will no take this here. Now we need to set this axis as a variable. Let's call it up axis value up. What we need is when we release the left shift we need to save the Z value of our actor location and this will be we will use a branch to make this now what we need is when we as I said we when we release the uh, left shift, we want to set the uh, elevation of our uh, vehicle. We need to use it for once. In, let's use do once so that it doesn't continue saving it continuously. And we will reset the node when we press up or down button again now get extra location take the z call it player height this will give us the player location uh, elevation once we release the left shift button now we need to set the elevation control and this will be you we will use the tick for this because we need to update it to needed to update uh, every frame to be accurate now we will need another branch with the up axis value equal to zero if it's true if it's false if we press the button we need to use the normal controls like this now if we release the button we need to uh, make the vehicle try to keep the position up how we do this is by subtracting the Z value from the subtracting the current Z value from the player height that we used if the value is higher if the current location is higher than the player height will have a positive value if it, uh, the current location is lower than the player height will have the po uh, negative value I will use the map range clamped map range clamped 
now the input range A B will be 10 and out range A will be 0.5 so what the difference between this is 0 means we do not need to do anything so keep the value of the input value 0 but if it is more than 10 we need to add some elevation now let's take this one here now this node the map ridge clamped will give us the input value based on the current difference between the current elevation and the elevation we set when we release the button now let's test it first of all let's see now let's test it up something wrong let's see what's wrong change it let's test it again now I think we need to change this the hold that value hold it make it 10 now let's test Maybe the I think the thrust is not enough. Or no, let's make it one. <laughs> no, yes. Move forward. Move left. Right. <coughs> now it's keeping the elevation. Need to change some some things to make it smooth let's make it 1. I will change the controls to the mouse which is better than the 
keyboard control yeah. but the concept is right now so I will also add some rot rotation to the rotors because it looks bad when it is not rotating Let's make a variable, call it rotor speed, make it float. No, plus maybe forty four. Oh no, make it ninety. Let's set it. Now let's go to the animation blueprint. Class to Apache. Now get water speed. Now, animation graph modify modify boom transform boom need to oh no it's now let's first change some things uh, we need the main rotor rotor main rotor this mm, yes we need the phone main rotor int rotor main int rotor main int and we need to you do not need the location and the scale add to existing and use the parent bone space rotor speed on <coughs> no, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I think it's the EO. <coughs> yes. Now for the steel router. <coughs> It's called what is the other rotor? Rear main rotor? Yes. <coughs> rear rear main rotor. Rotor main. Let's, uh, just uh, I think this yeah I guess now let's test it mm. why did it work I think I forgot something. Let's check. I think we forgot to. Yes, forgot to. Yeah. Mm, Apache, where is Apache? This one. Next, I will change the controls to the mouse. It will be easier than. Yeah, it's very fast. Mm. Yeah, let's decrease the rate. 
Let me make it 25. Now let's see. Yeah, now it's good. We own gap forward and left right back forward again now we lost control and let's go up yeah okay i'll change it to the mouse controls mouse controls easier it will be like the if you remember battlefield 3 and 4 it was easier easy controls of the vehicle of the helicopter now let's comment on this camera no. mm. forward and back forward controls Yes, up and down. <laughs> Delete this, I will not need it. Movement, control. I will change the command later. <coughs> Oh, sorry, yes. The space should not be here. No. We will change the pitch and uh, turn controls to the mouse to so make it easier to control. Now, for the Left or right, your control. I use it like this. Now, what we will use is we will find the difference between the control rotation and the actual rotation of the actor to find the angles that we need the uh, helicopter to turn to and the pitch, which will be easier. Now, first, the pitch. Get actor rotation and get control rotation. Delta rotator <laughs> I need the like the pitch value only no. map range clamped clamp the value uh, if it's minor I will clamp it to 45 degrees minus 45 degrees and Minus one, uh, no, there's in here one. Like this, like this, and connect them like this. Same thing we will use for the uh, for the turn or the yo yo control. Yo let me make take it in here better. Yeah. 
we make way for this. Clinic air repair. No, let's test it. First, we need to change this to one and uh, this to minus one. So, minus one. Now, let's test. No, let's go up. What? What's going on? Let me check my notes. Sorry. Which one? Now, let's check. Now, let's go up. I think I should... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We... One minus one. I think we did something wrong here. Which audio? Let me just check my notes. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. What? What's going on? Uh, we need to tweak this, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Mm. We flipped the controls. Ah, sorry, sorry. We just changed them. I did notice that we use the pitch for the O and the O for the pitch. Check. Going forward. Forward. Left and right. I think the uh, 
I think we need to make an offset for it. U input and the fit input. Let's test it now. No, I think I need to tweak some settings in the pitch control and the yaw control. Yeah, make it 0.5, yeah, 0.5, yeah, 0.5. Also, mm, then what is this? Then this. Okay. Much better. Now, I need to change the spring gun. Let's add some offset to the sign off. Set of it two hundred. I think this fixed it. No. Now going forward. Hello again, I found the problem. Uh, what we need to change is leave the mass uh, as it is. Now, uh, first, we need to check the simulate physics box here and the mesh. Then, uh, in the thrust control. Uh, the add offset to the x axis one and in the arcade control torque control you will need to make the rotation damping to one and the torque scaling to one the pitch torque scaling to one and the yaw torque scaling to one all of these to one uh, make them one don't activate any of these and stabilize control make the altitude hold c to 15 and Position X Y to one. This position X Y hold uh, hold X Y 
This will help you increase the speed when you move forward and backward and left right. Hold altitude Z. This will uh, try to keep you from going uh, higher or from it will keep the helicopter from uh, going up limitlessly or of, uh, it will keep it from going up uh, I don't know the word but if you increase the value the uh, helicopter will uh, be more difficult to go up and if you decrease it the value the, uh, the helicopter will go up continuously and will not stop there will be no ceiling to uh, its elevation now let's test it now we'll go up and forward uh, it holds the position and go left turn left yes. now let's try to fly low near the ground here like this go left these controls remind me of battlefield 3 and 4 I didn't play the new one the new battlefield 2042 like this I think it's good no, this is very good controls and uh, it's not realistic 100% but it's very good now let's land oops now got back let's go up again turn faster go forward i mean forward like this yes forward and sharp turn mm, nice i mean go forward like this i always forget now let's stop in the air Next time maybe I will add a hover function but maybe for the next video add hover and also shooting mechanics thank you for watching this video thank you very much